Wireframe and Surface Design The Spoon Case Today, in this tutorial video, we will learn how to create 3D profiles based on the model pictures and how to do quality surface modeling. First, create a new file and name it Spoon. Insert a sketch. Set it on the XY datum. Click Image to insert the top view picture. Pick the origin as the first point. Set width to 300 millimeters. Click OK. Then use the line tool to create a center line. Right click. Pick toggle type to convert this line into a constructive line. Then move all shapes. Thereafter, click the Point Curve feature. Refer to the image. Pick profile points one by one. Using the Curve Preview, select the suitable position. Totally, about 15 points should be selected. After that, select a start point from the list. Define the tangent direction. Pick an end point and define the tangent direction. Click any point and with the handle, adjust the point position. Now, let's check the profile sketch. Blank the image, then exit the sketch. Next, we need to create the second sketch. Set it on the XZ datum. Click Reference. Pick the first sketch curve. Click Image. Insert the front view image. Set first point to zero. Set width to 300 millimeters. Click OK. With the following, create some lines for relocating the image. Draw the vertical line like this. And draw this horizontal line. In the window, select all shapes and move them to the matched position. Then, create another vertical line. Double-click the image to edit. Adjust the image width. Convert these lines to constructive lines. Next, we will draw the profile curve, referring to the image. The first segment is a line. Click the Point Curve tool. Pick the profile points one by one. The last point should be located on the vertical constructive line. Then, create a fillet on the connecting area. Connect them together. Next, Create the bottom profile curve. Pick points one by one.
Create the second segment. Pick more than 10 points according to the image profile. The last point should coincide with the end point of the top curve. Add a line, then create the fillet between curves. Now, blank the image and constructive lines. Blank constructive lines. Blank constructive lines. Click One Touch Trim. Pick the unneeded curve until there are no more. Finally, connect them together. Exit the sketch. Pick the Combined Projection tool. Select the top profile curve, direction, y-axis. Pick the first sketch curve, z-axis. Click OK to get the 3D profile. Next, we will create several datums for drawing a section curve. Pick a suitable point on the bottom profile curve. Blank Sketch 1 for a clean view. Then, adding datums, click Datum. Pick Point until done. Now, six datums have been created. In the following, draw the section profile in each plane. Click the Reference command to define the reference point. Pick a curve to get the intersection point. Click Plain View and Show Target. Next, create a curve. Pick a reference point, a middle point, and another reference point. Show Curvature. Add Tangent Direction for the first point and adjust middle point position to get the more equal curvature. Finished. After that, we will use the same method to create other section profiles. Define the reference point. Then use the point curve command to draw the section profile. Now all 3D curves are finished. Click Extrude. Pick the bottom profile curve to create a surface. Click the Freeform Curve Mesh command. Pick one curve. Middle click to confirm. Two U curves. Select all section profiles as V curves. Pick one and middle click to confirm. Define the boundary constraint, tangent with the extrude surface. Blank the reference surface, then mirror the UV surface in the XZ plane. Now, blank all section sketches. Let's check the surface quality. Inquire, Analyze Faces, 
Here we get a visible contour stripe display. The lines are continuous, meaning this surface is of good quality. Blank all planes. Last operation, shell this surface to get the solid model. Set thickness to negative 1.5 millimeters. Okay, this is the final shape.